Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. It is a lot to unpack in this one as we see Eminem narratives continue to get destroyed by people who are actually in the industry. And this time it was Glorilla's Mount Rushmore of hip hop that sparked some interesting conversations about Eminem and a tired conversation about if they play Eminem in the hood. And we'll get to more on this in a bit. Today we also have more from 50 Cent who recently clashed with Diddy's associate Stevie J. And it is wild because Stevie J believes if you speak against Diddy then you must be some sort of sellout and 50 Cent reacted accordingly to Stevie J's claims as he continues to roast Diddy. And We'll get to this at a lot of part of the video. So starting with the ongoing drama that Kendrick Lamar kicked off with his verse on Like That, a clip recently hit the web of Drake that started a roasting session of the Canadian rapper and even J. Cole is getting it as it has been all silence since Kendrick dropped Like That. And check this out that kicked off the roasting session when Drake performed his collab with Travis Scott that included this segment. Now, some have claimed that Drake has done this even before the beef started, but that hasn't stopped reports like this. Shots fired. Drake sent Travis Scott a very clear message during his tour stop at Penn State University Park. See for yourself. And the Canadian rapper has been getting stare fright in response to the clip. Travis Scott is so scared right now. Rose eyes emoji. And this went viral. Dude doing everything but getting in the studio. However, since both Drake and J. Cole are yet to respond, takes like these have now gone viral. Kendrick Lamar really said it is only big me two weeks ago and still nobody responded. Gotta respect him for that. Personally, I don't mind if they take a few weeks as long as they actually respond directly to Kendrick. And some believe would hate to see today's rappers in the M50, Nas and Hove days, their stock would drop immediately after not responding. Although in Drake and Cole's corner, some have hit back with took him six months to respond to what got him mad relax but what are your thoughts and moving on to the next point rapper Glorilla was recently on club Shay Shay and she revealed how Mount Rushmore of rap check out a snippet so give oh, give I'll tell you well, okay give me give me my Rushmore you only get four give me my Rushmore rappers you can go back far as you want to go or you can go right now give me your four best rappers of all time okay so I I'm only 24, so like, um, I can't say rappers that were before me because I don't know their music. Okay. Really? So, um, I'm gonna say, yeah, okay, I'm gonna say Lil Wayne, Drake, um, Eminem. No non African. No non African. Eminem and Jay Z. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, you got some heavyweights on them. Yeah. And perhaps since she would be considered a quote unquote hood rapper, this was a shocker for some self proclaimed hip hop heads on Twitter. As in response to this night take, I guess they play Eminem in Glorilla's hood. Some of these hip hop heads are losing it and calling her a liar. Check this out for instance Glorilla is from my hood and absolutely nobody listens to that lineup with the exception of Wayne. Does everybody know everybody? Wow. She's on a major platform trying to sound like she has an eclectic taste. 3-6, Gotti, Dolph, Ball and G, Moneybag got the city in a headlock. She capping, not naming them. This is wild because this user assumes that just because people in a certain hood play certain music, then that automatically means that every rapper who makes it from said area must rank the rappers in their all-time best top four. Like what has a quote hood's music taste got to do with someone's personal music taste and who they consider to be the all time best rappers and some are now asking Eminem went diamond. I don't know why people pretend like he isn't a legend lol. And the people with this hood music taste mentality are now getting cooked and rightfully so. Bro only listen to music the hood plays skull emoji. Develop your own taste. She likes what she likes. You go have your own Mount Rushmore. By the way, M has paid his dues 
plus homage to hip hop more than everyone in any hood combined at every chance given. Your favorite acknowledge him, so why are you mad? People have lied to themselves on social media for so long they started to believe their lies hold up in the real world and a user expanded on this. I mean, y'all really think black people don't listen to Eminem? LOL. He had some of the best videos, he was funny as F and he was a great storyteller. Everybody knows Stan and cleaning out my closet. Don't let them cap to y'all. And more on this note, only on Twitter do they act like Eminem's music wasn't played everywhere. And some are now asking some legit questions like this. What is this obsession with music that's played in the hood? That is such a backward mentality. They don't play Marshall's music in the hood or the club. But he's still the highest selling artist to ever do it in hip hop because people appreciate his catalog. Mind you, the so called hood isn't a monolith, but when it comes to Eminem, it suddenly becomes one. And the reason for that is because these people argue in bad faith. They will reach out for anything they can grab onto to discredit Eminem, even if it is devoid of logic. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, but think about it. Glorilla was asked to list her all time best rappers, and we got people. People out here expecting her to say money back, yo. Come on, man. Ooh. And moving on to the next point, Stevie J recently had a chat with TMZ where he decided to use some shaming language on 50 Cent. Since now, if you choose to call out Diddy, then that makes you a sellout. Check out a snippet. Whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cast like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me, I don't know if y'all saw the post where 50 posted about me, of course you guys see yeah. it. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. How? How is that so? I said what I said on my post and I'm standing on that too. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to charity, donate the bread to charity and fight, don't, don't stop being a girl and talking about dudes. When they first cru try to crucify somebody, they go through the media first and they're just flooded with lies. I'm not concerned about this n Curtis. I mean, this dude Curtis. You know what I'm saying? He's Uncle Tom and that's just what it is classic shaming language when you're on the losing side and thankfully some users on social media have called out Stevie J for this. Don't y'all hate when people who never help the black community or even speak up on black injustice use the quote black community line every time they in some crap. It doesn't even matter because as far as we know, Diddy was never elected or appointed to be the face of any community in the United States and it is wild because Stevie J stretched it to the point where calling out Diddy equals being a sellout. Diddy's money is his money. Same with his success, same with his problems. So when he is in hot water, it becomes a community issue. Ooh. We have indeed failed, my lord. Ooh. And 50 Cent fired back at Stevie J on IG with this. Diddy's boyfriend, come on, man, called me a sellout. He is correct. I'm selling out Branson Cognac. LOL. And 50 Cent posted this on IG. I really don't know why people get me started. It never ends well for them. And 50 Cent shared this headline Multiple Diddy documentaries in the works following federal raids to which 50 Cent reacted. Yeah, a bunch of YouTube to be movie type documentaries. The big one is Diddy Do It coming soon, green light gang. And 50 Cent is just getting started, it seems, as in response to the headline, Diddy's ex Cassie cooperating with federal investigators amid probe, 50 Cent reacted with eyes emoji, oh yeah, it is not looking good for the diddler, laughing emoji, lol. And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on these topics in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.